The balance of power in Congress is staying in the hands of the Republicans. After the votes were tallied, the GOP kept control of both the House and the Senate. But if the Democrats would have taken control of the Senate, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed would have been in a powerful position there. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more. Steve? Yeah, there was a decent chance going into the night. If the Democrats did well in open Senate seats, a Rhode Island senator could have become a very powerful player on the Hill. Senator Jack Reed watched the results come in two years into a six year term. His job wasn't on the line, but a promotion was. It was always a very difficult challenge. We were running against incumbents and we were running against a lot of money. Ultimately, Republicans remain in control of the Senate, likely meaning Arizona Senator John McCain will continue to chair the powerful Armed Services Committee. Reed is the ranking member. If the Dems won the Senate, the post was likely his. It would have meant more power and influence influence over foreign policy and the Pentagon's massive budget. But Reed says even though he won't be chair, it won't change what he can do for Rhode Island in the committee. So we're going to work for the best interest of the country, make sure we have national security policies that work. And importantly, part of that is our submarine infrastructure, which here in Rhode Island is critical to our economy. Even with a Republican in charge of the committee, contracts have been brought to Electric Boat in Quonset and Naval Station Newport in the past years to work on Ohio-class submarines. Chairman McCain uh, is someone who I've been able to work with and, and likewise. Uh, and by the way, he, he too did not support the uh, President-elect Trump. Reed is also a member of the Appropriations Committee and a senior member of the Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs Committee. Now, it's been rare, but Rhode Islanders have chaired committees before. Claiborne Pell and T.F. Green both chaired the Foreign Relations Committee, and John Chafee led the Environment and Public Works Committee. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. And count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of campaign 2016. We'll keep bringing you reaction, insight, and impact from the election, and you can find the latest headlines anytime on WPRI.com.